Welcome to the spoken tutorial on blocks in admins dashboard. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add and delete blocks and set the front page. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB and PHP obtained through XAMPP. 5.6.30 Moodle 3.3 and Firefox web browser. You may use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. Learners of this tutorial should have basic knowledge of the admins dashboard. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. Switch to the browser and open your Moodle site. Make sure that the XAMPP service is running. Log in with your admin username and password details. We are now in the admins dashboard. Recall that blocks serve a specific purpose or information and are found on all pages of Moodle. Let us understand how we can work with Moodle blocks now. Depending on the theme used, blocks can be on the right side or on both sides. Blocks contain information we want people to see whenever they log in. There are many types of blocks available in Moodle and they can be moved or arranged easily as per our preferences. We will now add a few blocks to our dashboard. Click on the navigation menu on the left of the page. Click on Customize this page button on the right hand side of the dashboard. Notice that a new menu item, Add a Block, is visible now. Click on Add a Block. A new pop-up window opens. We need to select the type of block that we want to add. For example, click on Messages. You can see that the Messages block now appears in the dashboard. Currently, there are no messages. By default, all new blocks get added to the rightmost column. Let us add one more block. Click on Add a Block menu on the left. Select HTML from the list of menu types. HTML block is a block where one can write custom HTML. Using this, we can embed widgets such as library widgets, news feeds, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Notice now that a new HTML block has been added below the messages block. Click on the gear icon in the HTML block. Then click on configure new HTML block block. Configure HTML block has three sections. Block settings, where this block appears, and on this page. By default, the first section is expanded. Click on Expand All to expand all the sections. In the block title, let's type Things to do. Let us add some tasks for this admin user in the content area. Type the following Create a new course. Create new users. Add users to the course. The editor is an HTML editor and can be used like any other word processor or editor. Scroll down to see the options under where this block appears. Under default region, select content. In default weight, select minus 10. The lower the weight of a block, the higher it will appear in that region. Minus 10 
is the lowest. By selecting minus 10, I am ensuring that it is at the top of the content region. This block will appear on the admins dashboard. Now comes the on this page section. This is where you can define the configuration for the page where this block was added. In our case, this is the dashboard. This configuration will override the default configuration defined in the above section. That is, the where this block appears section. Let us select content in region and minus 10 in weight in this section. Please note that depending on the type of the block, configuration settings will vary. Click Save Changes to save the changes and go back to the dashboard. See that the new HTML block with the title Things to Do is now visible and it is the topmost block in the content region. We can also change the position of a block by dragging it using the Move icon. Let us move Things to Do block below the Course Overview block by dragging and dropping it. Let us see how this changes the configuration we set a few minutes back. Click on the gear icon and then on configure things to do block. Then click on expand all. Scroll down to see on this page section. The weight has changed to minus 2. The default weight, however, remains the same. Click Cancel to go back to the dashboard. We do not need this Learning Plans block, so let us delete it. Click on the gear icon and then on Delete Learning Plans block. Confirm pop-up window appears and prompts us to make sure about this deletion. Click on Yes button here. Notice that the learning plans block is no longer available. We can always add this block later if required. Let us now customize the front page of our Moodle installation. Click on Site Administration link on the left menu. Scroll down to locate Front Page Settings in the Front Page section. Click on it. Let us change the full site name to Digital India Learning Management System. This is the text that appears at the top of every page above the breadcrumbs. Short name is the text that appears in the title of the page. Notice that the title of this page is Digital India LMS followed by the name of the page we are in. Short name is also used as a logo text if we do not provide any logo image. We will leave it as it is. Scroll down to see drop downs for front page items. These are the list of items that can be shown on the front page. All visitors, whether they are logged in or not, can see these items. The order is determined by a combination box. We will leave this as it is. So all users will be able to see the list of courses if available and nothing else. Next is the front page items when logged in. This is the list of items that can be shown to the users who are logged in. Let us select Enrolled Courses in the first drop-down. We will leave the rest of the options with their default values. Scroll down and click on Save Changes. Let us now summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to add an HTML block called Things to Do and specified where it should appear on the page. We also set up the front page for guests and logged in users.
Here is an assignment for you. Delete the private files block. Add a new HTML block using the guidelines given in the assignment hyphen text file. This file has been provided in the code files link. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.